What's up my friends? Welcome to another video. I'm Rob Stewart and I'm here to help you get your skin and your overall health back on track. All of us are guilty of over complicating our diets. Simple is always better, but when it comes to carbohydrate intake, there is a ton of misinformation and a ton of information in general out there, so it gets super confusing. Low carb is best, zero carb is best, high carb is best, moderate carb is best, carb cycling, carb loading, carb deloading. <sighs> it's a lot of information. So in today's video, I'm gonna explain to you guys how to fix your carbs with three super easy steps. Stress-free eating, simplifying the entire process. So here's number one. The source of your carbohydrates is of the utmost importance. Fruit and squash is absolutely nothing like eating bread and cereal. The way that your body digests and assimilates carbohydrates is really based on how simple, whole, and natural the carbohydrate source is. Eating seasonal fruit is the easiest way to get the best source of carbohydrates in your body. Your body digests and assimilates, uses all those nutrients from fruit easier than any other carbohydrate there is. So from your source, make sure it's simple, make sure it's a whole food, stick to things like fruit, squash, sweet potatoes. Number two, your activity level, your volume of weekly workouts, and the intensity of those workouts. Very important. The more you move your body, the more intense you work out, the more volume you have with your workouts, the more carbohydrates your body can utilize without it causing any sort of harm whatsoever. In fact, when you are super active, you can get away with eating a lot more carbs. Your body will actually use it and utilize it very easily as a fuel to make your workouts better, to gain muscle and strength, and to give you energy. Here's the thing though, if you are not having a good volume of workouts and movement throughout your week and you're not very active, those carbohydrates will turn to fat, will go to waste, will turn to dysbiosis, and are not utilized uh, in a very good way. So make sure that your activity level and your carb intake go hand in hand and work well with each other. Earn your carbs. Okay, to make this point a little more clear, I wanna give you guys a few guidelines for grams of carbs per day based on how active you are. Now, before I get into that, I have to define what I mean by activity or movement or exercise. What I mean by exercise or movement or activity is moving your body in a very rigorous way. So, for instance, a, a hike, a walk, going for a run, playing a sport, doing a yoga class, going to the gym, having a hard workout, going swimming, going dancing, whatever, playing with your kids, doing some sort of a building, gardening, as long as it's rigorous and as long as it's actually wearing you out, it counts as activity. So that's my definition of movement and activity. So if you're in the low to sedentary range, that means you're working out or moving your body three times per week or less, I would put your carbohydrate at 100 grams per day or less. If you're moving your body three to five times per week, you can put your grams of carbs somewhere at the 100 to 200 gram mark per day. And if you're doing daily activity plus more, you can go 200 grams of carbs and all the way up to almost unlimited. Now. Keep in mind, these are not hard, fast rules. These are just general guidelines to give you guys a ballpark idea of where to be. And number three, what is the fat percentage in your diet currently? We wanna avoid things like candida, dysbiosis, and gut biome issues that generally come from having too much sugar, carbohydrates, and too much fat in the diet at the same time. This is how fast food companies rope us into addictive eating when you mix high fat food with a high sugar food, you add a little salt, it becomes extremely addictive. And in nature, there is no high fat, high sugar food. It's either high fat, high protein, or it's high carbohydrate, but never both. So I wanna give you guys some general ideas about where to put your macros based on your fat percentage. If you're someone who's eating elevated carbohydrates in your diet, you're eating over 200 grams of carbs per day, you wanna put your fat percentage under 30% of your overall caloric intake. For those of you who are the opposite, who like to eat more healthy fats, you wanna keep your carbohydrate intake at 30% or below. Again, these are general guidelines and not hard, fast rules. So guys, as you see, 
Mastering carbohydrates is super easy with those three tips. Keep this in mind though, everyone has a different need for their carbohydrate intake and we need to customize the entire thing based on your body's biomarkers and biofeedback. Customizing your macros, which is the amount of carbohydrates, fat and protein you have in your diet, is of the utmost importance. When you customize your carbohydrate intake based on biofeedback and biomarkers, you really can't go wrong. It's your body telling you exactly what it needs, and what you should do with it. So that's gonna do it for me today, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Leave your comments and questions down below. There's links for all of my offerings, skin-related, coaching-related, down in the description box. Again, if you liked the video, hit that thumbs up. Remember to subscribe and share all that good stuff. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys soon.